everyone welcome back to the integrity botanicals youtube channel today i am reviewing so late on this train actually i needed to get around to reviewing the beautiful Fit Glow Glam Palette, and with the release of the Glam Palette, they did also release two new shades of their lip color serums, which are beautiful nudes I wanted to make sure that I shared. So you know all about the formulation of these, so I will just do a quick swatch, but this palette is the doozy. We got five beautiful shadows in an array of finishes, and that big all beautiful highlighter as well so i'm going to just run this through for you guys swatches talk about my thoughts feelings and then of course do a demo so you could see how they apply and um per usual as you can imagine fit glow does not disappoint all right so if you are familiar with the sunny days trio the day or night palettes from fit glow you'll know exactly how this looks it is packaged the exact same way. Beautiful dark eggplant with the metallic Ficklo little emblem and name here. You turn it around, you've got all your shades listed on this small sticker on the back along with your ingredients, but it's just really thin, compact, easy to take with you palette. And when you open it up, you get a very nice sized mirror. Um, I do even think it could have been a little bit bigger, but you could absolutely get ready with this and take it with you on the go. And then this really cool marble background effect with all of your pans right there. Isn't she gorgeous? $69, which is exactly the amount of all the other palettes, um, the day and the night palettes. It is a 100% vegan product, which is really exciting. And it is also gluten free. So I love that Fit Glow is making so many vegan options because their formula is so stunning and I had nothing but high expectations and hopes for this product having loved the day and night palettes so much. So the Glam Palette is the third sister in the collection. She's absolutely the glam one. She's just more smoky. She's got a lot more going on. Um, and just deeper, sexier, alluring, and not for the faint of heart. So if this is a little too dark for you, um, I will link my reviews of both the day and night palette down below so you can check it out. You got options, but I wanna run through these stunning shades with you. So let's start with this highlight. This highlight is beautiful. It is a more candle lit, soft highlighter shade. It's in the shade Moonlight and it just has a really, really beautiful tone to it. Um, it is this more pinkened champagne tone and do that little bit of pink. I think it does make it more wearable on a deeper complexion. I don't think super deep ebony complexions, unfortunately, would be able to pull this off. I think it would just look too ashy on the skin, but I do think they did a nice job at accommodating a wider variety, but I don't think it's going to reach the spectrum of the very, very, very fair and the very, very, very dark. It's just kind of somewhere in the middle. With that being said, it applies beautifully. It does have a mixture of that actual like wet looking sheen as well as little bits of sparkle. Um, I do have a little bit of texture on the skin. It's emphasized ever so slightly, but what I do appreciate is that those more glitter particles are not sitting inside the pores. So I have it on my face right now. I think it looks so pretty on the nose because it's noticeable, but it's not like in your face overwhelming. Now let's get right into shadows. We do have five stunning shades, two mattes, three more um, metallic shimmering type of tones and they are all just pair beautifully together. The only thing that I do find is missing from this palette is a matte brow bone shade and a matte crease shade. I would prefer to start off with something much lighter than this to start off an eye look, even if it was this, but a shade or two lighter, also in a matte formulation. So when I go into the demo, you'll see I mix in to two other shades, but for this to be a one and done palette, I do think it needs two more, but if you have any of the day or night palettes, um, you could dip into those and they will mix really, really, really beautifully with this. So it's not a one and done, but you're almost there and it is so compact and travel friendly that if you need to take two of them, it's like the size of one, oops, normal palette. So let's get right into swatching. First up is the shade Dusk. Dusk is a matte formulation and it is this rich, beautiful eggplant shade. Something that I love about the Fit Glow mattes is their smoothness. They go on like 
a dream. To the touch, they feel really nice and soft as well. That goes for all the formulations. And they are incredibly, incredibly, incredibly buildable. I love that about an eyeshadow. That's the way I like to work with product. Yeah, it's great when something comes on with this full on crazy pigment, but I would rather get the opportunity to build it up. And you guys will watch me build this color up in the demo. Next up, we have the shade Allure. And Ficlo's metallic formula is just so buttery to the touch. They are just perfect. This shade is no exception. It is a beautiful chocolatey bronze shade. Um, it's a little bit darker than your traditional bronze. You could use it all over the eye and do the one and done smoky eye, which I've talked about a million times, or you can add it to, for a little bit of depth and drama, but it has dimension to it, which I love that when I'm doing a darker eye look. Then we have the shade Kalish, and I'm really hoping it's Kalish and not Kellish or something like that, but bear with me. It is the green shade in the palette, hence the kale inspiration. Another one of the more metallic finishes, absolutely stunning. And what's nice about this is I think it even applies on the eyes deeper um, then it swatches. So I think if you were to wet this and put it all over the lid, it would pick up that more golden reflect that it does have. It has this lime green kind of reflect to it. Nothing crazy, very, very subtle. But I applied just to the underneath of my lash line today, and I don't even think it's registering really on camera, but if you were to see me here in the sun, you'd be like, ah, I see what you did there. You got a little something extra. It's really, really, really pretty. Then we have the shade Smoke. Smoke is the other matte shade in the palette. It is this gorgeous, deep charcoal type color. Same deal as the first matte in the palette, Dusk. It swatches beautifully, but build it up and it swatches even more beautifully. I wouldn't even say that these are hard mattes. I would call them more of a satin finish, to be honest with you. Finally, the shade Galaxy is the deepest shade in the palette equally rich, butter, buttery, and divine. It is a stunning, again, charcoal -ish shade. This one is deeper than smoke. It has a little bit more black to it than that true gray. So all together, these look amazing. It is absolutely a deeper colorway. Um, so it is meant for a smoky eye. It's meant to get glam if you will. So that is all the colors swatched. Formula wise, I just want to run through that really, really quick. Um, I do think with natural shadows, these are no exception because they are not pressed with talc or any of these um, more harmful binding ingredients. They do have more fallout than your traditional shadow. Easy, easy, easy fix. You can wet any of the metallic shades. You can wet the matte as well, but the metallics are, of course, um, more conducive to wetting and building up that color that way. Just tap off the excess on your brush. That will do all the work for you. But if it's something that you're really, really worried about, you can always just go ahead and do the eyes first and then just worry about the skin second. But they last all day long. I have no issues creasing, crunching, any of that bad stuff that we don't want out of our eyeshadows just completely disappearing. They keep their vibrancy um, almost all day long. And most importantly, they blend super easily and look fantastic together. So I'm gonna quit yapping. I think that's enough about these products. Um, I will have a swatch photo down below, but for now we are going to jump into a little bit of a demo so you could see exactly um, how these products work in action. Okay, so now I briefly just kind of want to do a quick demo for you. I want to show you how these products apply. Of course, you'll be able to see the eye look that I was wearing at the beginning and the end half of this video. Um, but let's start with highlights. So I have foundation on, which is the RMS. Concealer, which is Fit Glow, Brows, and the Vapor Powder Bronzer. That is all that I have on my face right now. Um, so I'm just going to go in with the Delium Tool 787 brush. You can also use a fan brush. I like that as well. Um, but I'm just going to dip into Moonlight here, which is such a beautiful highlight shade. And it's going to... I like to do this circular motion on the tops of my cheeks. And I like it like on the apple and just up here, like just, just right above where I'd apply blush. So you can see it's not the most blinding highlight. It's more of a soft focus candle lit kind of look, which I do believe is the intention of the product. So I think that's really a nice shade. 
and I do think it would work on a multitude of different skin tones. If you're super, super like white as snow fair, I don't think so. However, I think if you're my shade all the way up to, I don't know how it would look. I think it might not pull the right way on a deep skin tone, but it does have a really nice sort of pink undertone to it, which I think makes it a little bit more universally flattering. But you can see I have this soft candlelit kind of glow, which I love. Um, so that's just the highlight real quick, how I like to apply it. You could build it up. You can use it on the eyes. I love the versatility of that product. Um, but I am quickly just going to apply some blush and then I will zoom in so we can get to talking about the eyes. All right, so we are up close. You will notice I already do have a little something on. Um, this palette does only have two matte shades um, and they are both of a deeper tone. So I don't like starting off my eye looks with that much color, I'd rather build up. So I did go in with the Fit Glow um, matte shade in the day palette. This is the shade Fawn right here. Quickly fluff that through my crease at the Delium Tools 785. And I will also be dipping into the Sappho shadow in Monica, I believe this is called, which is just this peachy, it's basically just a good brow bone shade. I need that to soften the edges as well because this palette um, does not have that shade. But if it had one of those, like I wish that there was two more spaces here, I think this would just be a one and done gorgeous palette. So now we are going to go a little bit deeper. I'm going to take the Air Perez. This is the line and blend brush. So it's just a little bit more tapered than the Dallium Tool 785. And then I'm going to go in with Dusk, which is that beautiful eggplant kind of shade. And it is very pigmented. So you just need a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate the color here. You can see we're getting immediate color payoff. Boom. So I'm not doing anything fancy here. I'm not doing a, anything special look. It's more like my usual look, but much more smoky. So something that I quickly wanted to point out that I love a lot about the shadows, you can see it's a rich color. And when I blended it out, it's keeping that depth. Yes, I could probably go in one more time just to make it extra dark, which I probably will do. But you will see that it kept its depth while the edges soften really, really nicely. And that is a testament to a well-formulated, easy-to-use shadow. So I love that. Next, we are going to go in with a flat packer brush. I have the Gressa cream shadow brush right here, works in powders and creams. And I'm going to go into the shade next door, the beautiful bronze shade that you see right here. And that is in the shade Allure. So I'm going to load up my brush and I'm just applying this to the middle of my eyelid, bringing it closer to the front, but leaving some empty space right there. So this is that eyeshadow used dry. You can see it has a really nice color. It is still quite dark. It's not a brightening bronze shade. It is just a smoky bronze shade. So there's a lot of brown to it. So, but you do see the light reflection, which separates it from that outer corner shade. Now these can be used wet or dry. So I did just wet my brush and I'm just gonna show you the difference. You could see wet, we are just getting a really full on heavily pigmented effect. Wetting your brush will also help with any fallout that you might experience. So it should just look a little something like this. And then I'm going to dip back into here and I'm gonna soften this edge. Okay, and because I don't want this to get too dark because I am gonna even smoke out the edge a little bit more, I'm gonna go back in with that gorgeous highlight shade. I have wet my brush because I do want a little bit more full on color. And that's why I left this little room here up front. It applies so beautifully wet. So you just have to kind of slowly, I'll be going back and forth between the other brush because we need to do a little ombre situation. Okay, so I did line my eyes with a little bit of brown. Um, you could use black as well. I just didn't want something that intense. With that being said, I am gonna go into this shade here, which is the shade um, Smoke. And I'm gonna take Smoke and a touch of Galaxy, which is that more shimmering one next door. Again, both really pigmented, so I'm tapping off the excess. And I am just going to deepen up this and also kind of like smudge it out, but not move it around too much. And finally, just, for, just to use all the shades and kind of show you them all in action, I'm going to go in with this beautiful green. 
Um, probably my least used shade, of course, but they do all pair so nicely together. That is uh, Kalish. I hope it's not Kalish. I hope it gets like Kalish because it's green. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to roughly just do a little smoke out action on the lower lash lines. So you're like, is that green? It's like, yes, it is. All right, so of course I went in with a little Fit Glow mascara to finish off any look every single time. And um, that is the look complete. I think it came out really, really beautiful and showcased the shadows perfectly. All right, everyone, that is it. That is my review of the Fit Glow Beauty Glam Palette. And not really a review, but just a quick mention of the glosses that came alongside it because I think the shades are so, so, so beautiful. The glosses do also come in a bundle so you can save. That is a limited edition option, um, but I do think that they will be hanging around separately, so just keep your eyes out for that. I will have everything linked down below as well as the swatch photo. As far as the palette's concerned, I think this one's here to stay as well. $69, really, really, really beautiful palette for those of you who like a little bit more of a deep eye and maybe the day and night palettes weren't quite speaking to you. Or if this one's not speaking to you, I will also include my reviews of the day and night palette down below, but I really think it's worth the splurge. I think that if these are your colors, you will just wear them out. And even if it's something you wanna treat yourself to, you wanna wear every so often when you're feeling like really dressing up, the formulation will absolutely not disappoint you. So I'm gonna have a full swatch photo, ingredients list, um, a direct link to the product to make it easy for you to shop in that description box down below. In the meantime, you are more than welcome to follow us on all of our social media. I always include that down there for you. I will have everything else that's listed on my face down below as well, just to make it easy for you guys to find out what I've got on. And um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.